Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Some weeks ago, there was an issue with a lady. She had bought a burger from a popular fast food place. She claimed that when she bit on it, there was a roach inside of it. She also said that she made a complaint to the management and she was refunded. She also gave them back the burger. Now, I had promised that the next time lawyer Lambert Johnson was on, I was going to ask him what do we as consumers do whenever things like this happen to us. Listen to this conversation with lawyer Lambert Johnson and myself. Listen to this. All right, so today we want to touch on a few topics, but firstly, um, say for example, I go to a restaurant and I buy a patty or a burger or a chicken, and when I bite on it, I I I, I feel something in my mouth crunchy. When I check it, I realize it's a roach or a bug. What do I do? Um, as disgusted as it is, the first order of business is to try and now to hear Lawyer Lambert Johnson's full response. Ensure that you tune into the program. Ask the lawyer later on. Mr. Johnson and I will be discussing that plus other important issues. These lawyer advices, you know, that Mr. Johnson is giving us is free. Ensure that later on you tune in. And if you have any question for the lawyer, send us a WhatsApp message to 876-343-1033. We'll also be doing the birthday greetings for the days we missed out later on as well. Now, in today's journey, we didn't tell you which journey we were on yesterday. So, we are going to start over. We are starting at Mount Salem in the parish of St. James. Sit back, relax and enjoy this journey with me. Now, some good news first. We are learning that refurbishing work has started on a building at a community named Pond Peace in Hopewell, in the parish of Hanover. This building, it is owned by the Hanover Municipal Corporation and it was recently leased to the Jamaica Constabulary Force for only 1,000 Jamaican dollars per year. It is to be used as a police station. Mayor Sheridan Samuels, the chairman of the Hanover Municipal Council, he is saying that in the interest of the safety of the peace-loving people of Hanover in general, and the people of Hopewell and its surrounding districts. In particular, the Hanover Municipal Council did not hesitate to make the land and building available to the JCF at this low cost. Now, for years, the commanding officer for the parish of Hanover, Superintendent Sharon B. Put, she has been lobbying for a police station in Hopewell. The people of Hopewell and surroundings they are currently being policed by the Sandy Bay Police Station. It is expected that work should be completed this year and the station will be fully functional. Good move. Very good move. But Mr. Sheridan Samuels, Mr. Sheridan Samuels, sir, come here a bit. I have a bone to pick at you. Mr. Samuels, when I was a child growing up in Lucy, Christmas was my favorite time of the year. On Christmas Eve, my friends and I would walk up and down all night. And it was a joy to look at the decorations on the Christmas tree. But, Mayor, Mayor, I understand that a lot of people, both young and old, they were left disappointed. In fact, a lot of people reached out to me. They were very, very disappointed with the Christmas tree and its decoration that the Hanover Municipal Council, of which you, sir, is the chairman, put in place. I had received a whole lot of photos and trust me, Mr. Samuels, it is a real shame. Uno spoil up a whole lot of people Christmas with that piece of Christmas tree and that little full full decoration. Mr. Samuels, Mr. Samuel, sir, the book stops with you. If the Christmas tree was pretty, you'd be getting the praises. It never looked good, Mr. Samuels. Worm? <laughs> so me used to call you and me smile, you know. 
Worm. Yeah, man. Big time goalkeeper. That Christmas tree, the boss. If you are there after the next election, make sure so you make it up to the people of Lucy. It never look good. None at all. Now, in this next story, we are learning that last night, Sunday, January 8th, 2023, at minutes to 9 o'clock, four foreign nationals, they were seen on the Excellence Hotel property in the parish of Trelawney. The police were called and it was later learned that all four of them are Cuban nationals. They are all males. One of them is 24 years old. Two of them are 34 years old and one of them is 49 years old. Our information is that although they speak limited amount of English, when they were interviewed by the police, they reported that they had left Cuba in a boat to come to Jamaica in search of work. They are stating that on their way to Jamaica, they experienced difficulties and the boat capsized and sank. They are also stating that they managed to swim ashore. At least one of them had a wound to one of his hands. They were all suffering from exhaustion. They were taken to the Falmouth Hospital by an ambulance from the Falmouth Fire Department where they were treated and examined. I am sure that these men, they'll be charged for illegal entry and they'll be taken to the court in Falmouth. It is likely that they will be fined by the courts and then they will be ordered deported back to Cuba. But there are two things right here. Yeah man, two things. One, it is said all the while that jobs are not available in Jamaica. I am sure that if these Cubans had landed without detection, it is likely they would get work. And nobody ask, they would have worked very hard also. Secondly, and more seriously, for those who are asking, how comes so many guns and bullets are in Jamaica? This is one of the reasons. Our borders are not secured. You see that? <laughs> in this next story, a 66-year-old family ram who has been in police custody for over a year, he died early yesterday morning. Sunday, January 8, 2023. This family ram, his name is Hubert Curtis. Like I said, he is 66 years old. He would be celebrating his 67th birthday on Sunday, January 15th. That's Sunday coming. He was a pensioner and he lived in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, I'm not going to be giving you his exact address for obvious reasons. So, this is what we are learning. Family Ram Hubert. For many, many years, he has been messing with his relatives. You know what kind of messing me I talk about, right? Yeah, man, over a year ago. Hubert, he messed with a very, very close, young family member of his. As a result, he was arrested and charged by the police. Family Ram Hubert, he suffered from prostate cancer, urine infection, he was anemic, and he also suffered from a chronic kidney disease. Hubert, he was offered bail in the sum of $350,000, but no one but that would be him, even though he was very, very ill. His relatives, they were tired of his family ram ways. Saturday, January 7, 2023. Hubert, he was being housed at the Betteltown police station. He fell ill. He was taken to the Savannah Lamar Hospital. He was placed in a wheelchair in the trauma bay at the hospital. Yesterday morning, Sunday, January 8, 2023, about 3 o'clock, family ram Hubert Curtis, he was seen motionless in his wheelchair. He was checked by a doctor and he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E Just like that. So, let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, we are almost at 152,000 subscribers. Thank you again. <laughs> yeah man, enough respect. Be a part of this movement. Now, in the final story for today, 
I carried a story yesterday about a man who was shot and killed by the police in the parish of St. James. That incident, it took place on Saturday. This is after that man, he had chopped two men and he tried to disarm a policeman of his M16 rifle. He also bit that policeman on one of his ears. Well, there was another incident yesterday and this man, he actually disarmed the policeman. It took place yesterday afternoon, Sunday, January 8, 2023, about 1 o'clock. It took place at Ashill Avenue in the Torado Heights area of Carroll Gardens in the parish of St. James. Hear this now. A 34-year-old lady, she's employed as a housekeeper at a popular hotel in Montego Bay. This lady, she was in the process of boarding a taxi at her gate when she was attacked by this man. His name is Travis Warren. It is said that Travis, he was mentally challenged. Travis, he used a machete to chop the lady in her head. She was assisted to the Cornwall Regional Hospital by a motorist. The police were informed. A team of police officers, they went to the area. The man who is known by the police, he was seen. He was still armed with the machete. The team of police officers, they tried to apprehend him, but they couldn't. As a result, a tactical team was called in as backup. One of the police officers, he approached Travis, but he started wrestling with the police. In the process, he disarmed the police officer of his Glock 9mm pistol and started to squeeze it. We are told that Travis, he was able to squeeze off a few rounds, one of which hit a 59-year-old man who was standing nearby in his chest. The officers, they opened fire and it was all over for Travis. He fell to the ground, clutching the 9mm pistol. Travis, the 59-year-old man and the police officer who Travis disarmed, he had received injuries to his head and his back when Travis wrestled him to the ground. They were taken to the Carlwell Regional Hospital where Travis he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E the two other persons, the 59-year-old man and the police officer, they were treated. Sad indeed. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Quick silver sin. Murder, don't you be a bit me here, them a murder Cut it out, tell them no gonna further 